Each archer must hit three targets in a single run, 12 seconds long. And if you should miss... Well, 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 everyone. So thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing to my Japanese Tattoo 101. So I really appreciate you guys a lot. There'll be more Lighthouse videos coming up soon. Because I'm in the northeast of the United States, um, sailing season such as boating, yacht clubbing, and going on yachts is kind of off off season for now. If I'm in if I'm in down south or down south of the United States, those of you guys who are outside the United States, if I was like in Miami, Florida, or um, Houston, Texas, or Alabama, or those type of places, yeah, I can go boating like right now, um, straight after my day job. So, however, this is a little PSA announcement. Thank you guys for liking and sharing and everything, and I really do appreciate it a lot. So, now let's continue. Let's go with the program. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about Japanese Tattoo, right? Japanese Tattoo 101 with Captain the Navigator. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about the horse. In case you guys are going to be like, oh man, wait, the horse? Like, there's horse. I can get a horse tattoo? Yes. In Japanese culture and Japanese tattoo, there is many Yakuza members, there's yet many non-Yakuza members that got the horse tattoos. Um, they were essential for the samurai. So especially during battle, during combat, during the civil wars of Japan, and the invasion of Mongolia, and the invasion of Korea, and the invasion of Eastern China, so North China. So um, horseback riding was not only a, a lifestyle or a way of culture, or a way of living, but it's also an essential way of um, fighting the enemies and transporting goods and doing commerce and things of that nature. So, uh, however, in case you guys are gonna wonder, like, so what does this mean? Do I have to get a samurai with the horse? No, you can have the horse as what it is. You see the horse by itself over here, you can have it just like this. You can have it without the samurai. You can have the horse in the samurai armor, which majority of the time in, um, in feudal Japan, they had it like this. And the horse symbolizes um, strength, courage, companionship, and passionate, and loyalty, and dedication. So that's what the horse symbolizes. So as I show different clips of the horses, it's just for you guys who are horse lovers. So all you horse lovers right there, or horse doctors, or things of that nature who specialize in horses. And personally for me, I really love this video because my grandfather was a champion um, horse rider. So he was a champion um, horse racer, a champion uh, jockey back in Jamaica. So um, definitely this video will be dedicated to him as well. He's still alive, but like he will definitely love this video because he was a uh, famous horse rider back in, in the West Indies. So, however, and I really want to thank you guys a lot. So, if you get the horse tattoo, um, that's what it symbolizes and that's what it does. So, um, you have those type of traits. And I think Sagittarius's for Zodiacs are horses? I think it was Sagittarius's. Those of you guys who are into Zodiacs, please comment down below. Which sign that has the horse? Like half man, half horse. Or the full on horse. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys. See y'all later. Yabusami archery, performed on galloping horses, has been practiced by Japanese warriors. The famous samurai all fought as mounted archers. They perfected the ancient skills of the horsemen of the steppes and used them to train young warriors for battle. The training requires enormous concentration and discipline. The aim is to achieve seishin toits, a heightened state of awareness that transcends the individual and produces a flawless performance. This harmony of physical control and spirituality is at the heart of all Japanese martial arts.